everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would like to discuss about margin of safety. Margin of safety definition. Margin of safety is the amount of sales can drop or decrease to before the company incurs a loss. In other words, the excess of expected sales over break-even sales. A business operating with a positive margin of safety is profitable. A negative margin of safety means the business is making a loss. So, margin of safety is the difference between actual or expected sales and sales at break-even point. What do you know about margin of safety? The difference between the current sales revenue and the sales at the break-even point. And it indicates the possible decrease in sales that may occur before the company incurs a loss. So, we can calculate margin of safety. The higher of margin of safety, the better it is. Or, in other words, the lower the risk of not breaking even and incurring a loss. The margin of safety may also be stated in terms of unit, in RM or in percentage. How to improve <coughs> the margin of safety? <coughs> Number one, increasing contribution per unit. So, we can raise the selling price in order to improve the margin of safety or we can reduce variable cost per unit so that it will increase contribution per unit. Number two, the lower the break-even point, the better the margin of safety. So, if you want to lower the break-even point, we must lower the fixed cost. Number three, to improve the margin of safety, in the, the company should increase the actual output or sell more units of production. So, it will improve the margin of safety of the company. So, we can calculate margin of safety in units. Or we can calculate in RM and we can calculate in percentage. So the formula is the actual or estimated unit of sales less break-even point in unit. Or we can calculate margin of safety in RM, the actual or estimated sales in RM less break-even point in RM. So if you want to get the amount for RM, break-even point, unit or margin of safety in units multiplied by selling price per unit. Margin of safety, the formula is margin of safety in units or RM divided by the actual or estimated sales in units or RM. So there are three method to calculate margin of safety. So I give you one example how to calculate margin of safety. Prima Company Limited makes women blouse that sell for RM50 each or that one is selling price per unit. For the coming year, management expect fixed cost to total RM15,000 and variable cost to be RM20 per unit. Actual sales are 1,200 units. So we must identify in the question the selling price RM50 per unit, the variable cost RM20 per unit, 
fixed costs are at 15,000 and the actual sales are 1,200 units. So you are required to calculate or compute break-even point in units and RM. And the second one, you have to calculate margin of safety in units and RM. So the formula for break-even point in units, hopefully that you still remember, fixed cost divided by sales price per unit minus variable cost per unit. So from the question given, we know that the sales price is 50 ringgit. The variable cost per unit is RM20. Fixed cost RM15,000. And given the actual, actual price, 1,200 units, and we have to calculate actual sales, 1,200 units, multiply by selling price, RM50 per unit, and you will get actual sales, RM60,000. Now, we have to calculate break-even point to count because we have to compare break-even point in unit with actual sales in unit. So, fixed cost, 15,000 divided by selling price, 50 ringgit, less or minus variable cost per unit, 20 ringgit. And you will find out that break-even point is 500 unit. Now, the second one, you have to compare margin of safety in RM. So, we have to calculate break-even point in RM. So, 500 units multiplied by selling price per unit, RM50, and we get the break-even point is RM25,000. The next step, we have to calculate margin of safety in unit and RM. So, just now we have calculated break-even point in unit, 500 unit, break-even point in sales or in RM, RM25,000. Actual sales given in the question, 1,200 units, actual sales or total sales, RM60,000. So, when you want to calculate margin of safety, we have to calculate actual units. 1,200 units minus with break-even point, 500 units, and you will get 700 units. So that one is margin of safety in units. Next, we have to calculate margin of safety in RM. So the actual sales, RM60,000, just now we have calculated minus Break-even point in sales are M25,000 and we get margin of safety are M35,000. So this is the answer for margin of safety in units and in RM. Now we have to plot the graph or we want to plot the graph using graphic approach. Before that, we have to plot the total cost curve. Number two, we have to plot total revenue curve. Three, we have to plot fixed cost curve. And then, we have to plot the break-even point, unit and RM. And then, we have to plot the actual sales because we have to calculate margin of safety. That is the difference between actual sales and break-even point. And... This is margin of safety. After that, we have to find out the profit area. Total revenue is greater than total cost. And we have to find out the loss area. Total cost is greater than total revenue. Okay, this is graphic approach or graphic method. So this is the graph. We have to plot the graph. The first one, we have to plot the total revenue cost. Uh, no, no, the total revenue curve. So we have to start from zero. And we have to plot total cost curve. We must start with 
the point of fixed cost. The fixed cost is RM15,000. After that, we have to draw or plot fixed cost. So there are three curves, total revenue, total cost, and fixed cost. Okay, this profit area, we find out that total revenue is bigger than total cost. And this is loss area, where the total cost is bigger than total revenue. And this is the break-even point. And we can calculate break-even point in units, 500 units, and break-even point in RM, 25,000 RM, 25,000 ringgit. After that, in the question given, actual sales, 1,200 in units, and we have to calculate actual sales in RM, and we get 60,000. 1,200 multiplied by sale, selling price per unit. And from the graph, we can calculate margin of safety by, by finding the difference between actual units with break-even point in units. So 1,200 minus 500 unit, then we'll find out that Margin of safety is 700 units. So this is the range for margin of safety in unit. Okay, we look at for margin of safety in RM. We have to find the difference between actual cost RM 60,000 with break-even point in RM. So you have to find the difference and we have calculated just now. Margin of safety is RM35,000. Okay, so you can see that we have plot for break-even point in unit, break-even point in RM, actual sales in unit, and actual sales in RM. And we can find out margin of safety in RM, also margin of safety in units. So the conclusion is the sales in unit can decrease or drop by 700 units before incurs a loss. So this one, the amount 700 units. How do you get this amount? The actual sales in unit minus or deduct the break-even point in units. Or if the selling value decreases more than 35,000 ringgit, the company will suffer loss. So you got this amount. This is the different amount between the actual sales in RM minus the break-even point in RM. So you got this amount, RM 35,000. That's all for today. Thank you. Don't forget to watch my next video and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.